Hello everyone, my name is John Minnesondra and today we're not gonna paint but we're going to do the sketching. Okay, so we're gonna use the pencil here. So this will be a little different than my previous tutorials because today we're going to draw a landscape using pencils. So we are not gonna use any paint today but I will show you on how to start how to compose your own landscape painting without any reference so we are gonna think what are we gonna put on our canvas so but I'm not using any canvas today I am using um, a sketch pad here as you see so it's just made of paper of course and we're gonna use a pencil of course okay so I think I'm gonna start now and today I'm gonna teach you how to do the composition what what objects we're gonna put and we're gonna make it as realistic as possible but it will be um, black and white because it's a pencil drawing so we're gonna use a hard pencil so here I have um, a 2B pencil which is a very light one and also I have an 8B which, which has a very dark um, lid so you can can create a dark um, objects and also I have a Monte Marti colored um, charcoals so but we, we're not gonna use the colored um, colored charcoals but we're gonna use the dark one okay so here and hopefully you can get something out of this and you can paint your own landscape using you can draw your own landscape and you can make it as basis of your paintings okay so we're gonna start I'll, I'll be using first the 2b which is a very light one for the sketching so I am planning to put a cabin here so we're gonna draw a cabin now again It will be an old cabin. And it has some surrounding plants. to be covered with plants also and the door will be right around it and also the window and we can also put here the chimney And then I'm gonna put a huge tree here. So we're gonna use um, the roll of thirds, which is I'm um, used in photography. So here I'm gonna put the subject here, which is the house, the main subject, and a tree here. So we're gonna put it on the so we're gonna divide it this into nine quadrants then we're gonna put the subject here on the right side okay there this will be an old tree it has some really weird branches there. 
So you know, of course, we're gonna put the, the leaves. And then, I also need to put some grasses. And then I'm gonna put the, the, the light coming from the left side, so all the light will be striking here. Okay, so that's my plan, and I'm gonna start drawing uh, no coloring okay so I'll be using a very hard 8B pencil which is a very dark one then we're gonna do I'm gonna do this one first so we just have to create the block of colors will be the door okay then we're gonna shade this part so this will be an old cabin So I'll be shading this part. So we're gonna shade this part here. Because this part will be really dark. I actually have here a medium Monty Monty Marty uh, colored pin colored charcoal. So it's darker. And another one here, this is black stuff. So I'll be making that really dark. So we're gonna do the cross hatching. There. So I'm going to use the 8P. So the difference using this 8P everyone so because the pencil uh, is a little oily so it's more effective in this type of, pe of paper there so I'm gonna do more details here ok 
okay and this will be middle food so I'm gonna put a line here so it's middle food so I, I think I'm gonna do this um, horizontally and on the top will be vertical So some parts will be broken so I'm gonna do I'm gonna add some blocks here and okay and also here so we're gonna, we're gonna create the details horizontally for the woods block of woods there okay so we have now I think I'm gonna make it uh, it looks blurry okay so I think I'm gonna make it focus there so make sure that uh, you have the right tone so I'll just continue adding more more shades and details and also here so I'm gonna make the door darker and this part will be really dark so we're gonna put more shades Okay, so let's add more. It doesn't matter if the details look um, clear. Just, just continue adding details on it. Uh, no shades. I mean shades. until the tone will be good or looks good okay there and then we're gonna do the chimney so my lights coming from the left side here on the right side I'm sorry so we're gonna shade on the on the on the left side we're gonna we're gonna put the shading on the left side there then we also need to put some casted shadow here the shadow of the chimney there and then we're gonna add some details on the 
on this um, um, roof so I'm going to add some horizontal details for the roof Okay, there. So we have now the old cabin, and it looks realistic for me. Then, of course, we, we, we should not forget the the trees around the cabin. So here we need to darken these parts for the shadings. So make sure we're gonna dark this part here. We're gonna put the casted shadows. gonna put some grasses so to create the uh, trees or uh, tree leaves so we need to put some random leaves like this one and we can also do the more uh, shadings like this can put more darker shades so you can create the circular strokes to create the leaves and then also in the background we need to put more leaves more trees here so I also need to put some branches So just circular strokes to create the uh, leaves like uh, textures. There. Okay. And we should not forget to put some also details here. So I'm gonna put a window. And then another detail. Okay.
So I'm just gonna make this part darker. So this will be some grasses. And I also need to put some trees on the background. There. Sorry. Then we need to put some some uh, tree trunks and branches. There. Okay. We need to darken this part. To add more um, depths on our shadings so the same concept when you paint um, using acrylic but this one will be more simp simple compared to acrylic painting acrylic painting you need to um, add the colors but here just worry about the details or the or the shadings or the values of the color values means um, the, the how light or dark the object so he, like here this will be the, the lightest part and this will be the dark part which is the shades or the shadows And then I'm gonna proceed on the on the tree. So first we're gonna do a little hard strokes, but I I, I I'm not going to. Um, sorry about this one; it's very hard. So we can use a lighter one. But I think I'm gonna put also some. Some holes on the roof because this will be an old cabin so we're gonna put some holes there there okay to darken some part there that looks pretty okay and also here we need to darken to add to see more details So mostly, it, it, uh, this will do some dirt on your on your hand. <laughs> okay, there, that looks nice. We can also see clearly the depth of the colors. Sorry, everyone. Here. Make sure that um, your pencil is pointed so that you can put a, a good detail. I'm gonna create a frames window here. Okay. There. So we have another cabin. And then of course the 
at uh, u3 so here I'm gonna put a big hole So we need to do the shadings first. So again, we're gonna we're gonna shade the the left part. Okay. Then we're gonna create the uh, textures of the tree. So just random um, strokes following the the flow of the branches and the trunk. So here and also here. So here also we need to to create the uh, to create the uh, the shape of the trunk so we're gonna do this kind of strokes or the there okay so here I'm gonna I'm gonna need to darken this part And also, of course, here. So we now we're gonna start adding more details, more, more. So this part will be a hole inside a branch. So okay. So here. And also here, we need to put some more details. So we're gonna, we're gonna darken this part a little. And also here. Okay. So what what kind of tree is that? <laughs> so here I'm gonna add darker tones.
and darker shades. Okay. And also we need to put some branches. So just um, put some dark branches here. There. I'm gonna put some cracks or det more details on the on the lighter part. So I think I'm gonna make this part darker, but we still need to to put more details here. So slowly you can build up the textures. So we just do it a little slowly. And I'm gonna put more uh, branches. You can use your um, hand to smudge. Okay. Then here. So I'll keep on adding more um, tones or a darker tone or shades. Then we're gonna try to put the leaves here. So again, this is the same technique. You can put some random um, random strokes. But it would be a little zigzag or something like this one. So we also need to put the, the darker parts of the leaves or the shades. So, if you're watching this one, don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And don't forget to hit the bell button, button I'm sorry, to 
to receive more uh, to receive the um, to receive notification if I have a new painting on my channel so that's uh, important everyone to here continue adding more leaves okay this is look like a mango tree So we keep on adding more textures and then we're gonna need to shade it also there okay I'll try to put some pathway here for the house so here I'm gonna darken the pathway sides to create the, the shades sorry everyone And then we're gonna put some um what do you call this um grasses grass. Actually using pencil it will be easier for you to for us to to draw the grass. on the ground and the so again everyone so we're adding more textures and shades for the tree leaves okay so here I'm gonna put some darker Tons of the grasses. You can also put different variety of plants here, not just grasses. But grasses are easy are the easiest one to paint or to draw. So for now we just have to to use this one. So I'm gonna make this part darker. To make the leaves um thicker to, to look like thick to look, um, so that it will look like thicker. Here. ok 
okay so this is a very basic tutorial everyone so um, you should try this if you haven't tried um, pencil uh, using pencil on painting or on, or on drawing landscapes so this will be a little tricky also actually it, it, it took me one hour <laughs> just to finish this one so actually it's also challenging because of the some techniques we, we use on the on pencils so it will be a little different with the colors so here I need to do more shades and the difference between this um, pencil drawing um, compared to painting uh, we need to uh, paint first the subject which is the foreground then we're gonna do the background because we can't um, we can't we cannot cover it with um, pencil if we have we have um, shown the background first and we're gonna put the subject we cannot cover it with the pencil so we need to do first the, the subjects okay or the foregrounds before the background so here I'm adding more details So, very important um, to note for you everyone, so you need to have a good proportion and also the composition is very important thing. In order to achieve a realistic effect. So, so here we can, we can still add plenty of details on the... on the tree trunk there I'm gonna put some holes on the branches okay So I'm constantly adding more depths to create distance and objects here. okay that's it so I'm almost done so actually okay so I think I am done everyone so I have created a landscape painting using a pencil so for me it looks nice looks great um, especially it's just um, black and white so I hope I can transfer this in canvas and I can paint this one also this is really uh, looks nice and looks good I think on canvas 
Okay, so it took me 45 minutes to finish this one. I'm going to add more de um, shadings. It took me 45 minutes to finish this one, so I hope I hope you're still watching this one also. <laughs> this is the first time I will be uploading pencil drawings on my channel. I told you this is really one of important thing if you wanna learn how to paint um especially landscape so you need also to to learn the values of the colors so values which uh, is the the light uh, the light and the dark part of the object oh no on, on the painting so this one is the lighter barley value on this part which is the roof which the sun is hitting on the roof the, so that we should apply it a lighter value but um, on pencil drawing, we are just focusing on the dark values, which is the shadings. So this part. So here we are going to learn how to put the values of colors on your painting, and then you can apply it on your own, own painting. Okay, so I wanna thank you everyone for watching this video today. Hope you get something out of this. You can learn, and you can paint your own landscape, especially using pencils and apply it on your painting so please hit like have some comments subscribe for more videos in the future thank you everyone for watching this video and just keep on practicing okay thank you have a nice day and i'll be sure all the glory and honor and praise always belongs to the lord